I don't want to tell people how to live. I'm the cool uncle. I'll let you take your psychedelics. But we also have to acknowledge reality and safety. So I wanted to make a video talking about the heroic 5 gram dose recommended often by Terrence McKenna. And also, also how often it's taken out of context on YouTube and in forums and by people all over the internet. If you listen to Terrence McKenna in the longer context of these conversations instead of the uh, clips that are just taken, um, he always talks about how this dose how this is circumstantial. This is for his, he always, he always mentions his body weight, his height, and what works for him. He always makes a clear point to say, this is what works for a person, 145 pounds. Point number one is that this is not a universal uh, guideline of how to have the shamanic experience induced through the visionary mushroom. Um, which five grams? I'm not saying five grams is a bad place to start. For me, five grams takes me into a different universe. But I have a friend, like for example, my friend Dylan. My friend Dylan's like six foot, maybe he's about like 200, pound, 200 pounds, maybe 220. He can take 10 grams of mushrooms and have a conversation with you. He'll just be like, it's crazy, you know? I don't know how he does it, but what I'm trying to say is that, um, is that, uh, yeah, we, should, we it's not universal. This is actually the most important point, and that's to not over-romanticize this experience. This experience, this experience is essentially giving medical advice, which I think we should all stray away from. We should not, we shouldn't be giving any people medical advice. For one, it's so circumstantial and so, um, this, like you always hear people say, the set and setting is so important, and you have to know all the conditions of a person mentally and their kind of physical environment to determine um, to, to, to determine a sort of a dose to give them or to, to determine how they can have a shamanic experience. That's why it's best to take these things with the shaman. And I made a video of me um, in Mexico. There's a really profound tradition in the Sierra Mazateca of the Mazatec people in Huala de Jimenez. And you can go take mushrooms with these shamans in a traditional profound tradition, a setting that is meant and integrated for you to have the most profound, um, life-changing and integrated experience. I know there are a lot of people that can handle this experience. I do handle this experience, of course, but um, I think there's a lot of impressionable kids, a lot of impressionable people, a lot of people with psychological issues that aren't prepared to have this experience. And they see people romanticizing this experience as being like, you're not a real explorer or uh, you don't know what you're talking about if you haven't had this kind of trip, like you are you haven't had a real ego death. You see these kind of um, competi competitive roman romanticizations that could trigger people into to taking these um, heroic doses. And um, yeah, it, it could be very psychologically damaging to somebody and it could be, you know, but just put, you don't want, you just don't want to put yourself in a position where you're giving someone advice like that. So, I mean, that's for me. Um, I, I don't like when people ask me, well, what should I take? Should I take mushrooms or LSD or how much mushroom should I take? Or I don't like answering these questions because it's like, if you have to ask me, if you're going to YouTube or, you know, some random guy for, um, advice on this kind of stuff, it means you haven't done enough research. You should have enough research and enough knowledge about these kind of things that you don't need to ask people. There's tons of resources now. Oakland just decriminalized, uh, natural psychedelics the second city in, in America to do that. So there's a sort of wave of, of scientific understanding of these kind of things. So we're, you know, there's a, there's a resource and well of knowledge for you to tap into um, when it comes to how, how to properly uh, do these things. Do the research yourself because these higher states of consciousness are for people that really want to confront demons and to, um, put themselves in extremely uncomfortable positions. I mean, the heroic dose is comparable to a stretched out DMT trip or to, you know, an intense ayahuasca trip. It's no joke, the, in, you know, ayahuasca, people have to prepare, people take special diets and stuff for ayahuasca. And all these people are sort of downplaying this mushroom 
trip and I think it could be I think it does do a lot of I I see it in my comments all the time actually about people how they have these terrible experiences and these terrible trips because I believe they're taking advice from people like myself I've done it in the past you know I've romanticized these things and I don't regret it but I feel like um, it's a bit irresponsible in a way so um, I don't want to take anything away from the psychedelic experience because it's a profound life-changing healing beneficial it's the real spiritual trip you know if you want to have an experience you can meditate you can sit there and meditate in a room for 10 years and probably have an amazing profound psychedelic trip but you can have um, you know six hours with a shaman in the mountains and you know that you're good for a lifetime that's a meditation for a lifetime yeah this is kind of the dangers I think of um, of uh, the heroic dose or taking people's advice as gospel or um, because people really do take Terrence McKenna's word as gospel and I agree that you should take it if you want to have a shamanic experience you take a high dose in small groups or alone in silent darkness or with mantra or with like a Icaros you know with a shaman guiding you through song or through drums or there's different shamanic techniques but Terrence McKenna's idea who gave this idea of the heroic dose um, silent darkness silent darkness alone in silent darkness I've done this many times and it's I was, it breaks you down you know I've had trips where I'm crying I've had trips where I'm going to call the hospital because I think I'm ODing you know I've had some really um really uh, just trips that not every person should go through so that's all I want to say that's all I want to say again I don't want to be this I don't want to be this like cigarette smoking redneck uncle that's like real cool most of the time but when stuff gets a little out of hand I put my foot down and beat my chest I don't want to be like that so yeah I don't know my name's Dakota I bought this little this little puppy dog shirt and when I was in India in Rishikesh I was like why is this why is this here and why do you only have one of them fate some would say so. I am some. So, um, yeah, if you would like to actually support my YouTube channel, I have a t-shirt company. Unfortunately, this is the only one in the world, so you can't have this one. But um, you can buy other t-shirts, like this one right here that I have on the ground. It says... What's it say? I just want to save animals and think about the universe. And you can use a code, a place for humans, that coupon code, a place for humans for 10% off. And right now, um, there's free shipping in the United States. So, um, yeah, click subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Dakota Wint. Uh, peace out.